vida.
shade out here and it's cooler out here um, I think I come out here it's a little bit cooler but not much and the humidity is still high and there's a lot of swabbies out here they like me for some reason they won't leave me alone um, anyway excuse me there and, and I try to block out the wind it said it's supposed to be coming from that way but if it bothers my camera cord I really apologize there Hey to everyone, I'm Pastor Marcia to Lows and Fish, the Riverplex, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Lord's Supper week, so have you ready. The Riverplex is closed today, Sunday. Like I've told you, they're slowly opening, taking steps. Monday through Friday, they're open from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 7 a.m. to noon for now. Um, anyway, like I said, they're taking steps to slowly opening. Um, starting tomorrow, just a lap swimming pool and a therapy pool will be open. Anyway, okay, well, anyway, like I said, the wind bars might came in court. I apologize there. And I got sweat bees really thick out here. I'm, wow, I've never seen so many sweat bees in my life. Jeez. Okay, now, open ears to the real God's truth and let God's words be planted in you. Amen, amen. This week's sermon is called Transparent and Transformed. Transparent means allows the light to pass through and distinctly sing. And transform means made new, new, new. Therefore, according to God Himself, we have God's light, L I G H T, that's distinctly seen, that lives in us and transformed, new, new, reborn, purified, cleansed through God Himself, spiritual, righteous, and truthful like God Himself, to say and do His true words and right choices. Romans 12, therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies, 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 as a living sacrifice to God Himself, and be like God, holy, 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 and pleasing to God Himself. This is your spiritual act, spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, our sins, lies, that saying, to worship worldly like them, but be transformed, made new, for unto God Himself, by and through the renewing of your mind to think, say, and do his true words and right choices in heart God's love, then you would be able to test and approve, test and approve, test and approve. God's will is for and through him, amen, his good, 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 good and pleasing and perfect will. Love must be sincere in God. Hate what is evil, idle sins and lies. Keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord God and be joyful. Galatians 5, 22, 26, God's love, peace, joy, the free spirit lives in us. Transparent and transformed in hope in God himself, amen. Patient in affliction, faithful in prayer to God. Share with God's people who are in need, need, need. Again, I apologize if the wind bothers my camera cord. As far as I know, it's coming from that way. At least that's what the, my cell phone says on the weather channel. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Amen. Bless and do not curse. Remember this. Do not overcome by evil, all sins, lies, death, and darkness. But overcome evil with good, good, good for unto God Himself. Transparent God's light, L I G H T, shines in us. Amen. And transform new, new, new. And through God Himself, spiritual, righteous, and truth through His true words, ways, and will. 
the right words and choices for and through God himself are eternally with God in his kingdom. Amen. So remember this, okay? Okay, now which path do you choose, choose, choose here? Well, if you choose this world to follow ways and will to say and do, belong to here, you belong here and this is your home. It's possession, pleasures and craving less for more because it doesn't fill you inside. No, they don't. You choose the wrong ones. The things and people here worldly like them to worship their ways and will. To say and do that saying, then you're an idol to sin or liar and darkness and death has you. And you're truly dying, dying, dying. And, and you're truly and die forever in the world, darkness, death forever. But if you truly choose God himself to follow the right path, God's, God's, God's. Ways and will, pardon me, I got swimpies bothering me. Well, we belong to him, and he's our treasures and home, and fills us completely inside, amen. And um, he's in control of us, amen. His two words and ways and will to righteously say to and be spiritual God, like him, to worship. Then you're truly living in his light, L-I-G-H-T, and spirit lives in you, and you'll live throughout eternity with God and his kingdom, amen. Our real true home and treasures forever. So remember this, okay? And remember, remember, God Himself is the true meaning of love, life, and promise for and through Him. That's eternal with Him and His kingdom, all others in dies forever by and for them. Amen. Okay, now. I want to tell you this right now to help you as well. Okay. Gordon's is back open and are closing, and you can save a lot. Me and my family's been there a few times and saved over 50% on name brands. Okay, now I want to walk like God. Talk like God and be like God in heart to love first that's an undying love in mind to think say and do his two words and language right choices to live for and through righteous true spirit and have his life L-I-G-H-T and undying life and are throughout eternity with him and his kingdom amen okay now remember first Peter 5 7 cast all your worries and anxieties wants and desires to worship master by and from belong to and and God's in control and get him to God he cares and trusts he, he cares for us yes he does trust in him lean on him and stop worrying and choosing them and start living for and through God himself and he will free you from them your idle sins and lies that your master by and from belong to amen and set you free and worship God himself and be master by and from him, belong to him and control, Luke 16, 13, 15. And learn his two words, ways, and will follow his path and right choice and be spiritual, righteous, truthful like him, say and do. Towards an everlasting life with God and his kingdom, amen. Okay, now this Bible's verse is Psalm 106, 1. Praise God's love. The Lord, for and through God's love, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for and through him, his love endures forever. Amen. Let's remember that. Okay, now this week, this week's word is bestow. Bestow means confer or present, an honor, right, or gift. Okay, now, this week's children lesson is for everyone is happily ever after, happily ever after. Now, as children, we read fairy tales, and at the end, they read happily ever after, but I'm talking about is living happily ever after as we live our lives for and through God himself who fills us completely inside spiritually through the spirit that lives in us and God's love, peace, joy, etc. through the spirit lives in us. In Galatians 5, 20, 26, that truly makes us happy to say and do his true words and right choices to love first. As he first loved and loved us in Revelation 2, 4, as he's the true meaning of love, remember this. In Genesis 1 and 2 in the Holy Bible, God created the heavens, earth, and us and gave us our first breath of life here to live for and through Him spiritually and righteous truth and be like Him and His words and ways and right choices. And He makes us happy. Yes, He does. So we'll live happily ever after, happily ever after with God Himself and His kingdom and live forever. Amen. Amen. So remember that. Excuse me, I got swippies going everywhere. <laughs> They're attacking me. Ah! Okay. And saying the wrong choices and words, idle sins and lies that sin, they end die forever by and from them. And start, start, start doing and saying the right choices and words for and through God Himself and His true words. Who's unseen, be spiritual and truthful like Him and righteous, 
throne of our God is throughout eternity with him and our eternal home and live forever. Okay, now remember the bodies that are in their graves are only asleep. Yep, the bodies in the graves are only asleep. Until Jesus Christ comes again at the end of time, they'll rise first. His righteous will join Jesus Christ. But the altar sinners and liars will end die in the lake of fire forever. And to those that are still alive, Jesus Christ the righteous will rise and be with him forever in his new holy city. But the altar sinners and liars will end die forever in the lake of fire forever as well. Amen. Now, okay, now Galatians 1.10. Am I now trying to win the approval of people or of God himself? Or am I still trying to please God himself? If I was still trying to please people, 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 I would not be a righteous servant of Jesus Christ. No, I would not, for through him. Therefore, we try and want to win and please God himself as his righteous servant of Christ Jesus, for and through him and his two words, ways and will, like I've been teaching over and over and over again, to say and do righteous spirit, spirit, and truthfully, excuse me, ha, tongue twister. For and through him and try and win approval, please God himself as his righteous servant and win eternal life with him and his on his eternal judgment day and live forever in his kingdom. But if you are trying to win, please, and approve people, then you are truly a servant of people. You're a servant of people, 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 and lose, lose. Your life itself ends, dies in the dark death forever. Buy from them, so remember that. Okay, now it's time for the Lord's Supper. Excuse me, I got sweat bees everywhere. Too many crickets. I take mine every morning. 1 Corinthians 11, 20, 26. For whenever you eat the bread, Jesus body, and drink the cup of grape juice, Jesus blood, you claim the Lord's death for our sins and lives. We prayed and given them to Jesus Christ and let them die completely. And rose anew and better life, reborn, purified, cleansed from thy am, and live forth through Jesus Christ, righteous truth, be spirit to say and do. His two words are in right choices like him. Now love him first, as he first loved and loves us, and he's a true meaning of love. That's an undying life to serve master by and from belong to and in complete control of us to live born through. He's the true me in a life that's an undying life. And the Galatians 5, 20, 26, God's love be joy, free spirit lives in us. Remember this, very important, which fills us completely inside. Amen. And abide by by from his Ten Commandments, the next 20, and the most important commands, Mark 12, 29, 20, 31, that's turning with him. And it's Cain and live forever. Therefore, whenever you eat this bread, Jesus' body, and drink the cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood, and either the way you haven't prayed and, and let your idol sins and lies die completely on Jesus' cross, you still say and do them. You will be guilty, guilty, guilty of sin against Jesus. You'll end die forever by and from them on Jesus' eternal judgment day. A person ought to examine the person up before taking the bread, Jesus' body, and the cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood doesn't say in anymore without recognizing the body and blood of Jesus Christ, judgment on the person self. This is why many among you are weak and sick, weak and sick, weak and sick. For the hell sins lies that sin, and number yet fallen asleep in their graves until Jesus' judgment at the end of time when he comes again and lives with us forever. They will be burned in the lake of fire with the world's altar sinners and lives forever, but to those who are Jesus righteous and faithful will live forever with him as new holy city. So remember that before taking the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, took bread and gave him thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your body and blood. He, Jesus, broke it and said, Take eat, take eat. Now this is my body given to you in remembrance of me. In the same way, Jesus took the cup of grape juice and said, Take drink, take drink now. This is my blood given to you in remembrance of me, the new covenant. Okay, now bow your heads and close your eyes in silence and prayer. Thanks to Jesus Christ. Okay, now let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, now First Peter 2, 2 and 3. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk in God himself, so that in God you may, you will grow up, grow up in God himself and your salvation for and through him who fills us completely inside. First Peter 1, 7. So your faith, faith, faith in God of great, greater value, worth than gold, money, people, etc., which perishes, dies forever, even through refined by fire, may be proved, proved genuine and may result in praise, God's love, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ himself appears. 
On his eternal judgment day, his faithful and righteous and tribe will inherit eternal life with him in our road to home. Amen, amen. So remember that. Okay, now just because you cannot see God doesn't mean he doesn't exist. You can't see hair. No, you can't. But you know what's there to keep us alive? God's everywhere spiritually. God himself keeps us alive, born through him, and his two words and right choices. So we say and do them and are like him, spiritual, righteous, and truthful, and that is love, life, light, spirit, and holiness. Temple treasures home and promise that's in us, now without eternity with him in our real eternal home with God and live forever. Amen. Okay, now even addictions, 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 sex, porno, gambling, drugs, or alcohol, or being a workaholic, or money, in abundance, you're greedy. We'll make you say and do anything for them by them, even lie, cheat, steal. You have to pray and let them die clean on Jesus' cross and be reborn, purified, new, and cleansed from them. And rise like Jesus did on Easter and live your lives for and through him. And it's two word, right choice to live for love first. Sir, follow Jesus and be his righteous people, disciples towards an everlasting life with him and his kingdom live for every man. So remember that as you go to life here. Excuse me, I got swippies attacking me from everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, and I like spraying myself. I'm sorry, but I don't like spraying myself. That's not good for your body. Amen, your skin. Excuse me, I, I need a drink, pardon me. Still goes in your pores and stuff. Off spray. I don't know why they're so bad out here. Jeez, everywhere. Okay, buddy, get your holy Bibles out. Amen, amen. Okay, 2 King 19 through 21. Let me see. Pardon me here. This week won't buy fast like that, so pardon me. I did my my uh, sermon the last minute, so pardon me. I've been really busy all week. Amen. 2 Kings 19, starting at verse 21. I don't know. I'll read that next week. I don't even know why I marked that one. Pardon me. Again, I apologize if the wind bothers my cam recorder. I try to block it out. Psalm 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. Amen. With my mouth, I will make you faithfulness known through all generations. I declare that your love stands firm forever, that you establish your faithfulness, heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant promise with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my righteous servant. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise God's love and your wonders, O Lord. Your faithfulness to the assemblies of the holy ones. For who in the skies above a compare who can compare with the Lord? Who was like the Lord among the heavens beings? And the council of the holy ones, God is greater, greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. Oh Lord God Almighty, who is like you, who is like you, who is like you. You are mighty, O oh Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. Again, I apologize if the wind's bothering my camera cord. I really try to block it out. It's supposed to be coming from that way, but I think it's kind of going more from that way. I apologize. As long as you get this week's lesson, amen. You rule over the surging sea, even when the waves mount, you steal them. You crush Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scatter your enemies, which are the altar sinners and liars. The heavens are yours and yours also are the earth. You founded the world and all is in it. You created the north and the south. Tom Robinson, sing joy, Galatians 5, 22. This God's love be joy for the spirit at your name. Your arm endures with power. You hand, your hand is strong. You fight hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to account you, claim you, who walk in the light to L-I-G-H-T of your presence, O Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exalt in your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength, amen. And by your favor, you exalted with our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord. Our King is the Holy One of Israel. Yes, He is, amen. Again, I apologize if the wind bothers my cam recorder. 
I think it's shifting. I think it's coming from two different directions. I apologize. What you spoke in a vision, all your faithful people, you said, I have bestowed strength as a warrior. I have sought to my am a crime among the people. I have found David, my righteous servant, with my sacred oil, I have anointed him. My hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. No enemy will sub subject him to tribute. No wicked, wicked, out of sin or liar person will oppress the person. I will crush the foes before the person. I strike down the persons of estuaries. My faithful love will be with the person, though, though my name, the first horn will be exalted. I will set the, his faith hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He's talking about his righteous servant. He will call on me, me, and you are my father, my God, the rock of my savior. I will appoint him my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. I will maintain my love to him forever, and my covenant promise with him will never fail. I will establish his line forever, his throne as long as heaven and thrones, it is his son forsaken my law. Excuse me. I gave all of my decrees and failed to keep my cut commands. I will punish their sin, sin with the rod, their iniquities with flogging. But I will not take my love from him, the person, nor will I betray my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant promise or alter my lips from utter, 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 have uttered. Once for all, I have sworn of my holiness, and I will not lie to David, God's righteous. That is his line, I continue forever in his throne, be established forever the faithfulness. But you have rejected, you have spurned, you have been very angry with your anointed one. You have renowned the covenant promise with your, your righteous servant, and have defiled his crown on the dust. You have broken through all its walls and reduced the stronghold to ruin all the past plundering and the scorn of his neighbors. You have sought the right hand. You have made his enemies rejoice and have turned back and have not supported him or have put an end to splinter or have cast ground. You have short days of youth and you have covered him with the mantle of shame. How long, O oh Lord, will you hide your face? Yourself forever. How long will your, your wrath anger burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life, or what fertility you have created all people. What person can live and not seek death, 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 or save the person self of the power of the grave, death forever? O oh Lord, what is your former great love, which you have faithfulness, you swore to David, your righteous servant? Remember, Lord, have you, your righteous servant, has been mocked. How I bear my heart the taunts of all the nations, the taunts with which your enemies have mocked, O Lord, which they have mocked at every step. If you are anointed one, praise God's love be the Lord forever. Amen, amen. Remember that. Pardon me. Wow, these bugs are eating me up. Too many crickets. Wow, they won't leave me alone. Pardon me here. Okay, y'all, pardon me here. Again, I apologize if the wind bothers my cam record. I really apologize. I think the wind's actually coming from two different directions. Okay, um, pardon me here. For a couple of weeks, but you brought me back to Ezekiel 15. So the Lord came to me, son of man, person, how is the wood of a vine better than a branch of any tree in the forest? Is whatever taken from it to make anything useful? Do they make pegs from it to hang things on? Money, buildings, furniture, etc. And after it is thrown in the fire, fire is fuel, the fire burns both ends and is charged hard in the middle. Is it useful for anything? If it was not useful for anything when it was hoe, how much less can it be made into something useful when the fire burns and it's charred, which is burned? Therefore, this is what the Lord of Lord says, is, I have given the wood of the vine among the trees of the forest as fuel for the fire, 
So will I treat the people living in Jerusalem everywhere. I will set my face against them, although they have come out of the fire, 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 the fire will yet consume them. And when I set my face against them, you will know that I am the Lord God, I, 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 will make the land desolate die forever because you have been unfaithful, 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 declares the seven Lord, amen, amen there. Right. Ezekiel 28, in the pride of your heart, you say, I am a God I don't to love, serve, and worship, but you are a person of the flesh, 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 and will die in your darkness and death forever. Amen, amen, as one. Don't use yourself as a God idol. No, 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 because you're not. Only God is God. Amen. He's the one true God. He's our creator, etc. Amen. And he's the only one that gives us life in and through him. Amen. Ezekiel 30. Ezekiel 30, 13 through 19. This is what seven Lord says. I will destroy the idols I love sub to God, I love sins and lies, and put an end to the images. Verse 14. I will lay waste, set fire, and inflict punishment. I will pour out my wrath anger, the stronghold and cut off. I will set fire. Excuse me, will be taken by storm, will be in constant distress. The young people will fall by the sword, so sore they see themselves will go into calamity. Dark, dark will be the day, dark will be the day when I break the yoke. Their proud strength will come to an end, die forever, and will be covered with clouds. Villages will go into calamity. So I will inflict punishment, punishment, and you will know that I am the Lord God. Amen, amen. You got to remember that. Amen, amen. Do not test the Lord God Almighty. Amen, amen. Do not let us and follow and live your life for and by other things and people here. Nope, nope, nope. They're not gods. <laughs> nope, no, they're not. <laughs> hey, and die forever by him from that. Ow! That gun of cotton pick a swippy bit me. Okay, let's see. Matthew 10. Excuse me. Pardon me here. Matthew 10, 3242. Jesus says, Whoever acknowledges me, me, me before people or things, I will also acknowledge the person before my Father in heaven. On his judgment, they will live forever with him. But whoever disowns me, 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 before men, people, or things, to love, serve, and worship, I will disown the person on this eternal judgment day. You will end, die forever, by and from them. Amen, amen. In other words, no wonder thing ever comes before him. Nope, nope, nope. Amen there. And remember this as well. No servant can serve two masters. Luke 16, 13, 15. No servant can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one, love the other, or be devoted to the one, despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money, or whoever, whatever else you use here, to love, serve, and worship your master by and from. Amen, amen. You gotta love, serve, and worship God himself. Amen, amen. Be master by and from him. Amen, amen. He's our real true master. Okay. And live your lives for and by, born through him, as I've been teaching you. Amen. Okay, Romans 12, 1. Oh, let me read this first. Pardon me here, pardon me. Romans 9, 1. I speak the truth in Christ Jesus. I am not lying. My conscience confirms in the Holy Spirit and in through God himself. Amen. Okay, Romans 12, 1 is this week's. Excuse me, I'm thirsty. Pardon me for a second here. Therefore, I do, brothers, sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God Himself. That is your spiritual act of worship. This is this week's. Do not confirm me alone to the patterns of this world, all sins and lies, but be transformed and formed through God by the renewing of your mind. And hard by God's love, you'll be able to test and prove what God's will is 
born through him. He is good and pleasing, perfect will. For the grace is given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourselves with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you just as each of us has one body, has many members, and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we who are many from one body, and each member belongs to all the others, we have different gifts. In 1 Corinthians 12 are the spiritual gifts. According to the grace given, if a person's gift is prophesying, let the person prophesy is the portions of this, the person's faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let the person teach. And if it's encouraging, let him encourage. If it's contributing to the needs of others, let the person give generously. If it's leadership, let the person govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hey, what is evil, all to sinners and liars. Cling to what is good for and through God. Be devoted to one another and brother and sister, loved by God's love. Through Christ Jesus, honor one another above yourself, neither let be lacking in zeal. But keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful, Galatians 5, 20, 20, God's love, peace, joy, free spirit. In hope, in God, patience, affliction, faithfulness, and prayer, share with God's people who are in need, practice hospitality, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse, rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn, live in harmony with one another, do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people, opposition, do not be conceited, do not repay anyone evil for evil, be careful to do and say, excuse me, pardon here, what is right, born through God in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, far as depends on you to live at peace with everyone, do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath anger. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay. Remember, you will repay. It is to repay, not ours. Amen. Those who hurt you. Amen. Says the Lord, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you'll be putting burning coals on the person's head. Do not overcome by evil, our sins, and lies, but overcome evil with good for and through God. Amen. Remember that. Amen. Okay, Romans 16, 17. Our duty, but this is to watch out for those who cause division, 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 and put obstacles in your way, all sins and lies. On the contrary, the teachings you have learned, keep away from them, keep away from them, for such people are not serving the Lord Jesus Christ. No, they're not. But other appetites, appetites, Excuse me, but their own appetites, idle sins and lies. By smooth talk and flattering lips, they deceive the minds of native people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy. Galatians 5, 26, God's love, peace, joy, etc. Through spirit over you. But I want you to be wise about what is good for and through God, amen, and innocent about what is evil, our sins and lies. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus will be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends his greetings to you. Timothy, see who wrote down the letter, greetings to you by the Lord. God says, who's hospitality in the whole church? After us, the city's direct publishing. I don't know. Anyway, now to him, who is able to establish you by my gospel, my gospel and the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation, the mystery hidden long ages past, but now revealed, is now revealed, is now revealed, made known through the prophetic writing by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him. To the only wise God, be glory forever and ever through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen, amen. So remember that as well. Amen. Okay, pardon me, I'm thirsty. Okay. And the spiritual gifts, 1 Corinthians 12, we all have a spiritual gift. Amen, amen. You just got to love, serve, and worship God. And live your life forth to Him, righteously and spiritually. His two words and right choices. Amen, amen. You'll find out what, what it is. Amen, amen. Remember that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, pardon me here. Um, give me a lot of Bible verses, so pardon me here. James 
Okay, James 112. Excuse me. James, servant of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the 12 tribes scattered among the nations everywhere. Because they're pure joy, Galatians 5, 20, 20, God, I'll be joy from the spirit, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the test, test, test in your faith, 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 you'll have perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature, 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 and complete in God, not lacking anything. If you want of you lack wisdom, God's wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and will be given to the person. But when the person asks, the person must believe and not doubt, because the person who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not think the person received anything from the Lord. The person is a double-minded person, unstable in all he does. The person does. The brother or sister in humble circumstances ought to take pride in his high position, high position, which are God's faithful and righteous. Amen. In and through God. But the one who is rich should take pride in his low, the person's low position, low position, because the will passes away like because he pla he will die, the person will die like a wild flower, dies forever. And the sun rises with scorched heat and withers the, the person, the, the plant. Its blossoms fall and its beauty is destroyed. You'll die forever in the same way the rich person will fade away even while the person goes about his business. Blessed is a person who perseveres under trial because when the person stood the test has formed through God, the person will receive the crown of life. That is, God has promised to those who love Him, which is eternal life with Him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempted by evil. I don't think Elijah remember this. Nor does God tempt anyone. No, He doesn't, but each one is tempted when by his own evil desires, all sins and lies. He, the person's dragged away and enticed. Then after desires has been conceived, it gives birth to sin, 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 and sin is full grown, it gives birth to death, death, death. Remember this. Don't be deceived, my brother and sister. Every good, good born through God is perfect gift. It's from above, coming down with the Father. In heavenly life, who has been not changed shifty shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth of God that we might be a kind of first fruit of all. He created, excuse me again, I apologize if the way was my cam recorder. It's supposed to have been coming from that way, but I think it's coming from two different directions. I really apologize. My brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, take notice of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry, for a person's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God has desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil all sins and lies that is prevailing, and humbly accept the word of God of truth planted in you, the word of God of truth planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word of God. And so deceive yourselves, do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word of God but does not do what it says is like a person who looks at the person's face in the mirror and after looking goes away and immediately forgets what the person looks like. But the person who looks intently into the perfect law, which is God's law, and gives freedom into God and continue to do this, not forgetting what the person has heard, God's words, but doing it, the person will be blessed by God in what he does. If anyone considers the person self-religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on the person's tongue, the person deceives the person's self. Remember this. And the person's religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts is pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by infinite sins and lies of the world. Amen. Remember that, amen. Okay, pardon me. Wow. Okay, let's pardon me here for a second. We just got a little bit of a breeze. Again, I apologize for those my cam recorder. First John 4. Therefore, since Christ Jesus suffered in his body, arm yourself, arm yourself with the same attitude. Because the person who has suffered in the person's body is done with sin, 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 
as a result, the person has not lived the rest of the person's earthly life, earthly life, or evil, sins, lies, human desires, human what saying, but rather for the way we all into God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans, 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 and altar sinners and liars, their sexual moral, love and ceremony, etc., choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, crossing the festival, idolatry. They think it's strange that you do not plunge with them. Yes, they do, into the same flood of dissipation, and they heap abuse on you. They heap abuse on us. Yes, they do. But they will not give very far. No, they won't. But they will have to give account to Jesus Christ, who is ready to judge the living. His faithful and righteous will have eternal life with him, and the dead, the altar sinners, and liars will end die forever. But this is the reason the gospel gospel is preached even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged judge according to people in regards to the body, but live according to God, God in regards to the spirit. The end of all things is near. The end of all things and people is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray, pray, pray. Above all, love each other deeply by God's love to Christ Jesus and brother and sister love. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over the matter to sins, sins, sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever the string of God's grace in his various forms. If anyone speaks, the person should do it as one speaking. The very words of God himself, if anyone serves, he should do it with the strength of God, provide that in all things God may be praised to Christ Jesus, to him be glory, glory and the power forever and ever. Amen, dear friends. Do not be surprised at painful tri trials you are suffering. Amen, there. As though something strange is happening to you, but rejoice, rejoice that you participate in the suffering of Christ Jesus. Amen. So that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Amen. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. Yes, you are. For the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. Yes, he does. He rests on you because you are blessed by God. Amen. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or a thief or any kind of criminal or even as a meddler. Hey, if you suffer as Christians, do not be ashamed, but praise God's love that you bear that name. For it's time for judgment to begin with the family of God. Amen. And if it begins with us, what will the overcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Do not obey the gospel of God, God, God. And it, if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will be the outcome of the ungodly? Ungodly and the sinners, out of sinners and liars. So then those who suffer according to, excuse me, God born through him, God's will should commit themselves born through God to their faithful creator, God himself, and continue to do to do good for unto God himself. Amen, amen. Remember that as well. Amen. Excuse me, I got a lot of bugs bothering me. Pardon me here. First Peter 3. My second Lord, I'm into you. In the past, by the Holy Prophets and the command given to our Lord Jesus Christ, Savior, to your apostles. First of all, you must understand that in the last days, which is now here, scoffers will come scoffing and following other, their own evil desires, sins, and idols, lies. They will say, where's the coming? He has promised, ever since our fathers died, died, everything goes on as it did since the beginning of creation, but then deliberately forget that long ago by God's word. The heavens exist and the earth was formed out of the water by water by these waters in Genesis 6. Also the world that time was deluged and destroyed by the same word present heavens and earth was ruled by fire being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly people. Ungodly people. But do not forget this one thing dear friends. With the Lord, Lord a day is a Excuse me. With the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. No, he's not, as some understand slowness. 
he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, die forever, but everyone to become to repentance, pray and give your idle sins and lies to his cross and let him die, and then be reborn and be purified from your idle sins and lies and be cleansed from them. Now let us serve and follow and worship and live your lives for and through God himself. Amen. His words, ways and will be righteous and truthful and his right choices. Amen. Amen. It's true words. Amen. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear like a royal illness that are destroyed by fire. And the earth and when everything in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way. This is at the end of the time of Christ Jesus comes again. What kind of people ought you be? You ought to live holy and godly lives for and through God. As you look forward to the day of God and speed is coming. The day will bring about the, the destruction of heavenly heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat but in keeping with this promise we are looking forward to a new heaven and new earth remember this one will totally die disappear forever the home of righteousness and this new holy city so then dear friends since you are looking forward to this make every effort to be found spotless and blameless at peace with him bear in mind that the lord's patience means salvation just as our dear brother paul also wrote to you with the wisdom of God gave him he writes the same way in his letter speaking into them in this matter his letters contain some things that are hard to understand which ignorant ignorant and unstable people distort they do other scriptures they do other scriptures they teach lies idols and sins to their own destruction, death, hell, forever. Therefore, dear friends, since you already know this and you keep your guard so that you may not be carried away on the errors of lawless people and fall from your secure position for unto God, but grow up in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, to Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Remember that. Amen. Okay. Well, you know what I mean there. Amen. Okay, uh, we're on Revelation 8 at the end of time when Christ Jesus comes again. We're staying on the book of Revelation at the end of time when Christ Jesus comes again. When he opened the seventh sail, there was silence in heaven above half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who were standing before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Do, 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 do. And as Adrian had his golden scissor came and stood at the altar he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of the saints righteous on the golden altar before the throne the smoke of the in incense together with the prayer of the saint righteous went up before god from the angel hanging and then the angel took the censer filled it with fire from the altar and heard on the earth and there became pearls of thunder rumbling fashion lightning and an earthquake then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to, to sound them the first angel sounded his trumpet, doo 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 doo, and there came hail and mixed fire with blood, and it was hurled down upon the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet, doo 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 doo, and something like a huge mountain, all ablaze, was thrown to the sea. A third of the sea turned into blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded his trumpet, doo 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 doo, and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky, and a third of the rivers and the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood, and a third of the waters turned bitter, and many people die, die, die from the water that had become bitter. The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, doo 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 doo, and a third of the sun was struck. And a third of the stars, and so on, a third of them turned so that a third of them turned dark, a third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night. As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying in midair in a loud voice, Whoa, whoa, the inhabitants of the earth, because the trumpet do 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 blast the bell will be sounded by the other three angels. Amen, amen. Okay, pardon me, I don't know, I'm missing my camera cord. I don't know what I do with my notebook. Pardon me, I don't know what I do with my notebook. Now hurry up. My car is shut off too. I didn't leave it on on. Okay, remember, number one, love God himself first always. As I wrote your love and his true meaning of love. As he first loved, loved us. Revelation 2, 4, spouse, spouse 2. 
and from Sir Matthew 14 Lord God says I am your husband's spouse to serve and be master by and from to worship best friend belong to you and he's in control of us trust in God trust also in me says Jesus John 14 and obey obey by his ten commandments x 20 and his greatest commands are to love the Lord to love God himself with all your heart first with all your soul with that lives in us with all your mind to thank say and do and with all our strength born to him and we love everyone, our neighbors as ourselves. God's love, brother, sister, love through Christ Jesus. Mark 12, 29, 31. We can do everything through Christ Jesus who gives us strength in Philippians 4, 13. And we bear in our bodies the marks Jesus for unto him. Galatians 5, 6, 17. We put on the former God from the flaming arrows of the evil one. Idle sins and lies that comes at us all the time. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. So we say and do the right things, words and choices for unto him. And God's temple, love, life, light, home, treasure, spirit, and promise lives in us. That's forever with God in his kingdom. Amen. Number two comes your health and spouse and yourself. Number three comes work 45 hours a week. Number four comes my, your two friends. Part of me, i got to hurry up. I know I'm probably about to read a man to my camera core. My number one purpose for my organization is to preach the gospel, the real God's truth, and the Holy Bible. Of God's kingdom, eternal life, and save and help guide his righteous people. Number two is help people. Number three is help make our community state a better, safer one to live. I've emailed the governor, Pure, and he's pure on some issues. I'm working on one at a time. I'm picking up trash in my neighborhood, so please pick up trash in your neighborhood to help keep it clean from trash debris. Thanks to God bless you if you do. I'm an ordained pastor. If you need my prayer services or have ideas for our community, you can email me at marshbu6 at gmail.com. And truckers are watching my sermons. On the Wi-Fi and on my three-level apartment house, I'm working on one thing at a time. I have two pages of things that needs done. Amen. It's like I'm always adding to the list, too. It's a never-ending job. Amen. Okay, now helping our community, helping our community in Peoria and Peoria. I've told you last week, and I'm not for sure if they're still taking applications, but the city of Peoria is... New grant program helps on mortgage payments, rent and utilities for people affected financially from the coronavirus for Peoria's residents. Call the city for Carrie Bolter, grant coordinator for information. And the Salvation Army has food pantries and helps on bills. The one on Northeast Adams Street has a shelter, meals at noon, and a huge dinner on Friday at 6 p.m. They're number 6557220. And the one on Nebraska, 682-8886. And townships help on electric. They're number 6995621. And the Dream Center has a shelter, free clothing, called the Hope Store. They're number 676-3000. And last I've heard, they bus people to area Kroger since the one on Wisconsin East Bluff. And Southside closed. And Community Action Agency helps on electric. They're number 671-3900. When they get grants to help people. Pure is affordable housing. Number 6731508 and Southside Mission Helps in different areas. They're number 6731041. Peoria's Housing Authority has Section 8 and Affordable Housing. They're number 6768736. And Catholic Charities has a food pantry, baby diapers, and wipes. They're number 67 or excuse me, 636-8012. And DFS Office has food stamps, Medicaid, and for people with children. 10th Cash Benefits in Peoria and Tazewell Counties. They're number 6717900 in East Peoria on Washington Street. A Methodist has a food pantry 1 to 3 p.m. on Mondays. At St. Vincent House on Electric Bills, 6777696. Like I said, when they have grants, amen, or extra money or donations, etc. And with food pantries, number 6. Five seven six four eight zero. In Washington, has free clothing called Thread Hope and Love. Their number is three zero three zero two zero five. These are ones I know about. Okay, now I want to thank area business restaurants, delivery carriers, pastors, organizations, police, fire departments, doctors, nurses, etc. Put you for our community and the Riverplex for my mental, physical, and social health and OSF. There, my youngest daughter goes with me sometimes. She's on my membership and I, that I pay for. And Yoga in the Park is on Saturdays at 9 a.m. Register on their site and for locations until September 26th. It's free. And the Riverplex is open Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. And they're closed Sunday. 
tomorrow monday the therapy and lap swimming pools will open you have to reserve the lap pool on their side they're slowly taking steps and reopening during the coronavirus is shelter in place order and have rules and regulations and I've been working out on the ski walking machine, amen, all week. At least that's what I call it. And for Parts District for letting me use the river front to preach and sing. I'll let you know when I'm there. Thanks, God bless you for them. Okay, and on this side you can download some of my songs out more soon. I'll preach and sing and pray. And sing every week and try and write a new song like the one I did earlier. I didn't have no time at all. And I mean, I didn't have no time, so pardon me. And I'll keep you updated as I know things to help people right now. And for donations, I've taught you on teas and offerings given to the Lord God. So, you, Or you are robbing God under his curse. We are to give a tenth of our money to the Lord God. Join me 14, 22, and 23 in Malachi 389. Thanks and God bless you if you do donate. And Missing Children, Central Illinois, they are also on the side. As far as I know, John Perry Hutcherson is still missing in Peoria. He's 21 years old, disabled, black, mustache, 5'11", 120 pounds. If you have any information, call Area Police Department. I'm working with them. Let's pray. Bow your heads, close your eyes, pray. Lord God, we pray for the missing children, people, and give thanks for the ones that are found. Coronavirus, United States, 3.29 million confirmed. 97,000 recovered and 137,000 deaths. And other countries for the families of victims. Central Illinois, 30,000 were without power. From last night's severe storm for them. Rioters and protesters, so there'll be peace with each other and get along as an equal. Mark, Joseph, George. Dan, Pastor Dice, Paul's wife and mother in law, Joe, David, and me have health problems. Rebecca, Robin, Austin, Heather, John, Don, Ron, Donald, his girlfriend, and his 25, 26 year old daughters, they're going through something personal. For more rain, doctors, nurses, pastors, police, fire departments, carriers, delivers, businesses, restaurants, unemployed, bankrupt. Bus drivers, homeless veteran soldiers, our president, rulers of our state and cities, Operation Atlantic Resolve. We pray in the morning at meals and at night to God and give him thanks for my songs and novels I've written, Lord God. We pray and we abide and be by him from your commands and your true words to live in us. So we will be like you, spiritual, righteous, and truth. Revelation 5, 20, 20, 20, says, your love, peace, joy, free spirit lives in us and fills us completely inside. As your righteous people, tribe, and children, that's everlasting with you and your king. So we'll live forever. Amen, amen. Okay, now, if I were my camera recorder, I'll have another song. Um, okay, now, may the love, peace, joy, temple, home, treasures, righteousness, faithfulness, and these bugs are bothering me. Spirit, words of truth, language, teaching, articles, ways, will, customs, tradition, salvation, light, praise, glory, spouse, vows to promise of God being with you all, and be ready for Jesus, eternal judgment, truth and kingdoms, and error, and the, th and the things and people from the Holy Bible still lives in today's world, amen, amen, and Emmanuel means God's with us, and God's temple is to be built in us, and into God's true words and spirit, that's turning with him, not, not, the things and people are money, you'll end up forever buying from them. In First Peter 4, 7, the end of all things and people's near. And remember, one member, one nation under God. God bless America and God we trust. Amen. And that's righteous and faithful to building up, building up God's foundation home. City, united together, God's temple, home, city, and kingdom for his righteous people, tribe, and children, and through God's treasures. They'll be completely built up, united together with God in his new holy city, and live forever with God himself. Amen. And God's fires candle lit. Amen. Thanks. God bless. Have a nice and peaceful week. And pardon me if the, the wind bothered my camera recorder. And I got a lot of bugs bothering me. Won't leave me alone. <laughs> They're attacking me. Ah! <laughs> okay, I like to be silly sometimes. Amen. Amen. You gotta laugh. Amen. Okay, well, thank you and God bless you. If I don't my camera recorder, I'll have another song. Okay, I'm going to make this as fast as possible. These bugs are eating me up. <laughs> They're everywhere. I think there's about 20 sweepies out here. Okay, this song is called My Life's Gods. My Life's Gods. I belong. Right. 
game and that's it I'm done I didn't think I'm right but these bugs are eating me up first of all so I'm gonna get out of here okay this we summons called okay transparent and transform transparent means allows the light to pass through you that's the thing we sang which is God himself lives in you amen his spirit and his light lives in you Transform means made new, purified. You pray and give yourself to Him. You got all sins and lies, and you belong to Him now. Made new and into Him. Purified, made new, and into Him. To say and do His words and language and right choices. Right to be and spiritually born to Him. Amen, amen. That's forever with Him, whenever and amen. Will you get the, you know what I'm saying? I think it was at least 20 sweepies out here, and they just keep biting me. Wow. Um, anyway, um, have a nice and peaceful the rest of the week. Um, lean on God, but just trust in on Him. Amen, amen. Belong to Him. Let Him be the joy of your life. Amen, amen. To say and do the right things and choices and words. Born to Him. Amen, amen. But the very last thing with Him. Amen. Well, I anyway, thank you. God bless you. Like I said, these bugs are really eating me up. So, and I have plans with my kids, so uh, thank you and God bless you.